What's up YouTube, it's your boy Prince Xmas and I'm back at y'all with another banger video and look as you guys can tell by the title I have a different type of video for you guys today as we all know it's a December time and look I know I've been slacking I know December is the month to take over on YouTube but I've been super busy I'm not sure if many of you guys know but it was my birthday about a couple days ago and let's just say I got lit. You guys will probably see this before you guys see my 18th birthday vlog um, just because it's going to take a long time to edit and I feel like this might be quicker and I want to get this video out for you guys but let's just say I got lit. But today I have a 2020 winter sneaker pickups video. Basically in this video I'm going to be showing you all the new sneakers that I picked up this fall slash winter season. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys stuff from summer just because I feel like there's no, it's too many shoes to be showing you guys. But I'm just going to show you guys all the pickups that I got during this fall winter season. Now the shoes I'm about to show you guys, I have not shown in my previous sneaker collection. If you guys want to go watch that video, I'm going to pop a card up probably right there or right here. Where you guys can go watch that video. Trust me, it's a great video. Over $100,000 in sneakers. So go watch that video. It's pretty lit. But I'm just going to show you all the new sneakers I got. But before I get further into the video, I just want to say... Go follow me on Instagram right now. It was just my 18th birthday. Literally, I'm so close to 6K. Look at me 6K right now, man. Okay, but without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, the first sneaker I want to show you guys, well, it's actually a sneaker, but it's a designer shoe, uh, is the Alexander McQueens. I know these have been very, very popular lately, and a lot of people have been getting them, um, but I wanted to see what the hype was about, and honestly, I like them. They're pretty basic. I mean, they're as basic as forces, pretty much, with just a little black tab or whatever color you get. I'm gonna go pop a picture up on my Instagram with these on. I literally just took a picture with these a couple of days ago. I threw this on with some blue jeans and a chrome heart hoodie, a new pink chrome heart hoodie that I got, uh, and it turned out pretty fire. And these are really growing on me. I'm looking to get some more colors. But anyways, on to the next sneaker. Okay, you guys, the next sneaker that I got is the Jordan 1 Mocha. Look. You can call these the Broke Boy Travis Scotts, whatever you want to say, this shoe is completely heat. Y'all, when I say I already have like low-key beat these, like I might need a second pair, it's that serious. Like you cannot go wrong, these go great with fits and they look beautiful on feet. Like, you guys cannot tell me these aren't just honestly beautiful. And the other shoe I do have a white lace in, so it's one black, one white and it looks honestly amazing. Um, you cannot go wrong with the sneaker. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful shoe, man. It has a Travis Scott colorway. The suede on it is pretty nice. Um, one bad thing about them is they crease like kind of weird on the toe box. It's so weird. Like all my, I know I'm for sure at 13 and I got these in the 13, but they just start creasing weird on the toe box. So I had to get some sneaker shields. But besides that, man, they're a great sneaker. Anyways, on to the next shoes. Okay, you guys, the next sneaker I got is the Jordan 1 Obsidian. And this for sure was not in my last sneaker video. Um, and look, man, as you guys can see, I beat these to a pulp. I mean, they're still wearable and they're still in good condition, but I have been wearing these a whole lot. As I'm getting more into sneakers, um, I want to up my Jordan 1 game. I'm done with all the regular Jordans, the Jordan 11s, 13s, 12s, all that. I really just want to focus on my Jordan 1 collection. So lately, I've been stacking up on my Jordan 1s. Great colorway, that baby blue with the navy blue. Can't really go wrong. I threw a nice fit with these. I'm gonna put on my Instagram right there. But uh, anyways, great sneaker. On to the next. Okay, you guys, the next sneaker that I got are the CDG Converse. I've never really owned Converse before, um, so I didn't know how they fit. So I was gonna order them online for a long time, but I just didn't want to order them and then have to ship them back and stuff like that. And I kind of just forgot about them until I ran to a store that had them. Um, you can get these at upper level 916 right now if you're in Sacramento, but I love these shoes, man. Like. I mean, I'm not really wearing them because they're CDG, of course I like the design, but they're just some chunks I wear to school all the time. They're kind of comfortable and they look good, so they're pretty good. I wore these with a uh, striped CDG shirt that I have over there that does not fit me because my arms are too long, but um, anyways, it's a pretty cool sneaker. You can't really go wrong and they're not that expensive, so I really recommend that you guys check these out, but anyways, on to the next sneaker. Okay, you guys, the next sneaker I have for you guys are the off-white rubber dunks. Um, a lot of people don't like these. A lot of people don't like these. I didn't really like them either, Either honestly. I really didn't um, until I saw somebody wearing them in person with some baggy sweats, and I was like, yeah. Um, and I placed my order on StockX that day. So I had to get these, y'all. And they look pretty clean to me. I haven't taken a picture of them yet, but if you wear the right alpha with them, I think you can make these look dope. I mean, they're not going for that much right now. You can get them for pretty cheap. I think around like 300 bucks. And they're pretty cool, man. Uh, I mean, they're different, but I like them, and that's what matters. They're my shoes. As long as I like them, then I'm good with that, man. But anyways, if you guys don't really know how to drip your outfits, I don't really recommend these because these are kind of hard to style with. But 
Anyways, great shoe, man. I'll see you next. Okay, you guys, the next shoe I have for you guys are the Off-White 5 Sales. Look, man, I got these for a great price, a great deal, near retail, and honestly, I love these. I don't really wear Jordan 5s, nor do I really like Jordan 5s anymore besides like these, and the metallic 5s are pretty much like the only 5s that I like. Um, but these are different, y'all. This cream color with the black and red. I didn't like the pictures they came out with, but when I saw them in person, I had to get them. They're pretty nice. Uh, I'll post a picture of me with them on. Um, and these are a special shoe because I met Coco Blake in these shoes, which has been like my celebrity crush forever. As you guys can see, she's like literally on my home screen. And uh, I met her in these shoes, so I'll always remember these as the Coco Blakers. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm in love with Coco Blake. Marry me if you're seeing this. Um, yeah, I actually went live with her one day. She let me in her live. I was like super geeked out. I don't know why. Just because like this girl's my home screen. But, um, but anyways, enough talk about that. Uh, great sneaker, man. On to the next shoe. All right, man. Let me bring a little bit of heat out for you guys. But the next shoe I have is the Jordan 4 Off-White Sales. And look, you guys are going to be very mad at me. Um, you'll see why. Y'all, look what I did to this shoe. I don't know what I was doing. I was just doing too much. I was doing too much with the homies and I just forgot about the shoes that I had on my feet. Y'all, I paid so much for these and look what I did to them. What a shame. But anyways, um, might be shoe of the year. I'm not gonna lie. Might be shoe of the year. I am completely in love with these. As you guys can see, I have beat them way too much because I wear them so much. But like these are my favorite fours for sure. Just that cream color, that sail color. I like how a lot of Jordans are coming out with that sail color now, but this sail color with the black is just honestly amazing, man. It's a great shoe. Um, I did a sneaker review on the shoe when it first came out. It wasn't my size, so I didn't have them in. But I just never posted the video. Um, but it's a great shoe, man. You can't really go wrong. I'm in love with these. Anyways, on to the next shoe. Okay, you guys, the next shoe I actually have are some customs. I don't really wear custom shoes. And this is actually the only pair of custom shoes I have. Um, my friend Alex did these, Hollywood Kicks. You guys can't tell me these are fire, like literally on fire, as you guys can see. He's pretty sick with it. He did like a Gucci print for me. Um, and they're pretty lit, man. I don't wear them too often just because it's like a pop of color. Um, but I just wanted to be try something a little different. I never really had custom shoes before, so I got me a pair. And they came out pretty clean. So a lot of people like them, a lot of people has their own opinions about them, but I like them and they're pretty lit. Anyways, y'all go check out his page at Hollywood Kicks too. He's dope with the customs. He does customs for Lil Bean, Zay Bang, like a bunch of famous people, like, and he's lit, so. Anyways, on to the next sneaker. Okay, you guys, the next sneaker or sneakers I have for you guys are these Balenciaga Track Ones. Look, I know I literally hated these. Like, when I say, when I saw people wear them, I was like, bro, those are the most disgusting thing. Why do you have grandpa sketches on your feet? And then my dumb self was in LA with my dad. I saw them, put them on my feet, and I bought them. And I got a white pair, and I got a black pair. And yeah, I wear these a lot. I really like them. Um, you can't wear them with everything, but if you put the right outfit on, they look pretty nice. And yeah, these are pretty expensive, so I don't know if I'll be buying any more of these. They're not everybody's drip, but they're lit to me, and that's what matters. But anyways, on to the next sneaker. Like I said before, I have been trying to increase my Jordan 1 game. The next sneaker I do have are the Jordan 1 Biohacks. Um, these are crazy, man. I mean, I haven't worn these yet. I don't know if I will. Uh, so I had, But I had a chance to get them when they dropped down in price. And I grabbed them, man. I mean, they're pretty sick colors. They're pretty sick colors. I do like the colors. I'll eventually find an outfit that goes with them. But I mean, they're a pretty nice sneaker, man. You can't really go wrong. I mean, I wouldn't say if you're trying to buy one particular shoe, maybe not to go with these just because there are crazy colors to match with. But um, if you have some extra money and then you're interested and you like these, I recommend you get them. I mean, they're a pretty cool shoe. But anyways, on to the next shoe. The next shoe I do have is also a Jordan 1. It is the Jordan 1 Smoke Grays. I have not worn these yet either. Literally dead stock, dead stock lace on them. Um, yeah, I don't wear a lot of my shoes. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're a basic colorway. I might find a fit to throw on with these eventually. But um, just gray, white, and black, and red. Um, I had a chance to grab these for retail and I grabbed them. And 
um, yeah, they're pretty lit, man. Uh, I'll get to wear out of these eventually, but anyways, on to the next sneaker. The next sneaker I do have is an infamous sneaker that I have been in love with, but too broke to get. Um, the next sneaker I have is the Yeezy 350 Breads. They did a restock on these not too long ago, and I had to get a pair. I wanted these for so long, but I didn't want to pay a thousand dollars or over a thousand dollars for these before for some Yeezys, uh, which is what they were going for before. But uh, I had to get the restock, man. So I grabbed my pair. As you can see, I already wore them. Um, I don't know why I lace them like this, but yeah, I already wore them. They're a pretty sick sneaker, man. I mean, you can't really go wrong. All black. All black easy, man. You can wear these with pretty much everything, and they just got the Red Supply 350 on there. But it's a pretty good sneaker, man. So if you have a little extra money and stuff like that, I recommend you get these if you're going to get any Yeezys uh, because they're low on price right now before they go back up. But anyways, yeah, pretty cool sneaker, man. On to the next. Woo! Yeah, uh, so you guys see I got shoes right there, but uh, I can't fell off them right there in my room. And I do have a sneaker room, so... It sucks having to grab shoes on my sneaker room every day. But anyways, the next sneaker I have for you guys is the Jordan 3 Fragments. Uh, I also have not worn these yet. Dang, I really don't wear my shoes. Uh, I'm probably going to wear these tomorrow, actually. But, um, I mean, I don't wear Jordan 3s. I really don't. I, I honestly can say that I probably just got them for the name. Because um, I know they're going to go up. I might be able to flip them eventually. But uh, I got to offered a really really good price on these so I just picked them up um, I mean I don't really I'm not really a fan of Jordan 3's but I mean they're not a bad looking Jordan 3 at all but uh, I mean I don't know I'll probably wear these eventually but I just grabbed it man I don't know don't know but anyways, on to the next sneaker. The next sneaker I got was more of a general release. I honestly just got them because I actually like them. And that was the Jordan 4 PSGs, the Paris Saint Germains. I actually honestly like this colorway. So that's why I got the shoes. It's not about the hype or how much they cost or anything like that. I did get these for retail and I really just like the color of the shoe and the colorway of the shoe. I have not worn these yet. As you guys can see, the dead stock on the bottom. I haven't worn these, but I'm eventually going to find a good fit that rocks with these and matches the theme with the shoe. And I'm going to post it on Instagram. So go check out my Instagram at Prince Xmas right now. But anyways, um, yeah, it's a great shoe, man. I like the colorway. It was a general release, so a lot of people do have these, but I'm not really tripping, man. I really like the shoe. And if I like the shoe, I'm going to buy it. Like, It's not about what everybody else thinks. It's about my opinion and my drip and my style. But anyways, on to the next shoes. The next shoes are from the same brand, so I'm just going to show you at the same time. I don't think I showed you these in my last video because I did get these not too long ago, but I have these Dior's right here. These Dior, I think they're called like the Runners, Track Runners or something like that. But I have two pairs of them. Uh, and yeah, I wear these kind of often. As you guys can see, I do wear them. Um, and they're pretty sick, man. I mean, I kind of got similar colorways. This one just has black and blue on it. And this one's like more white with a hint of orange on the bottom. But they're pretty sick. They're not that comfortable. Let me say that. Like, literally, my toes hurt every time I wear these. Um, but they look pretty cool on feet if you put the right feet with them, man. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. These are nice shoes. Anyways, on to the next shoes. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to make a part two to this video because it's gonna take me forever running and getting these shoes. Okay, you guys, I do not want this video to be literally a hundred million thousand minutes long. Um, so I'm gonna cut it after this last shoe. I'm gonna show you guys right now. And then maybe do a part two depending on the reaction I get on this video. But the last shoe I wanna show you guys, I have been literally wanting for so long like so long and i was lucky enough to come across these at a good yeah at a decent price um and the shoe is the jordan for cactus jack and i had not worn these yet and y'all when i say i literally have been wanting these shoes for so long and i was, I was so happy when i came across these and i had the money to spend too but y'all, you guys cannot tell me. You guys cannot tell me that this is not a beautiful sneaker. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm literally absolutely in love with these. I want to wear them so bad, but then I just don't want to undies them. I, I don't know what to do, man. But I feel like when I throw these on, I have to have a crazy fit to go with these. So um, I've been buying a lot, actually. I've been buying stuff for Christmas. And I kind of went out on Christmas gifts this year. Um, so maybe after Christmas, uh, I'll be able to buy a 
five thousand dollar fit to go with these. I don't know about five thousand, but uh, this is a, a nice fit to go with these. I did order this uh, cactus. I don't know how you say it, cactus flea man market plant, something like that. I ordered one of those hoodies off StockX. Um, I ordered a black one, so I might rock that with these. But anyways, you'll see it on the gram, man. At Princess, let's go check it out. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment down below what videos you guys want me to do in the future. And if you guys want a part two, if you guys want a part two of this video, comment down below part two in the comment section. Um, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe, y'all. We're on the road to 2K. We're going kind of fast. So let's just keep that ball rolling and let's go, man. Please drop a like and follow me on Instagram at Prince Xmas. But anyways, it's been fun. And I have a special guest who wants to say bye. Follow, nigga.